How does one play the harp? Unlike other instruments such as the guitars or drums, the harp and bell do not show what note they are playing on the cursor, largely due to the legacy code that these instruments run on compared to the new 1.4 instruments. The way that these instruments determine what note to play is actually rather fickle and annoying to deal with, especially as a human. The note these instruments play is determined by the distance the cursor is from the center of the player. Though most players tend to use the horizontal axis of the screen to determine what note to play, the distance is actually normalized in the vertical scale. Each 1 over 24 interval of the screen indicates an increase of one whole tone in pitch. This means the harp and bell can play 13 different tones. If you set your zoom so that the distance between the middle of the screen and the top of the screen is roughly 24 blocks, which happens to be around 185% net zoom, then you can make it so that every group of two blocks roughly lines up with a different note on the harp. This is pretty much the only way to tell what note to play accurately in lieu of the cursor text. The notes the harp can play are as follows. Middle C, D4, E4, F sharp 4, G sharp 4, A sharp 4, C5, D5, E5, F sharp 5, G sharp 5, A sharp 5, and C6. Those musically inclined may recognize that because the harp only moves in whole steps, some notes are omitted, namely F and B, since the movement from E to F and B to C are half steps. That's how you get lossy playback like this bit in the Soviet anthem where going from E to F plays the same pitch because of the harp's lack of granularity. This same logic also applies to the bell if you like that sound more for some reason. Using this logic, it is technically possible to play music if you're dexterous enough. Now, my slow ass has tried in the past, but considering I'm no musician in real life, I haven't quite been able to pull it off. The majority of all harp renditions are done using MIDI programs, such as this one, which are perfectly accurate note-wise and play at perfectly consistent tempo, but I'm sure an adequately skilled human can do it just fine. There is also one more limitation of the harp, it's playback speed. The harp has a use time of 12, meaning that once a note is played, you cannot play another note for one-fifth of a second. All the notes are also the same duration if you haven't noticed by now. So typically you have to modify the item's use time to something more usable, like 3, which only has a 0.05 second delay between clicks, which is what this harp rendition of Through the Fire and Flames that Trigger Segfault does. I wonder if anyone out there will actually try to make an entire song manually be played using the harp, guitar, bell, and drums. It'll be very interesting to see, especially as someone of limited musical forte. Truly, they think this is one of the more fun and novel parts of the game. Hello, if you're part of the 80% of my viewers who are not subscribed, I ask you to subscribe. We're getting close to 90k. Either way though, thank you for watching and good day and goodbye.